are going to start with unit number one sense organ, page number six. So basically, there are five sense organs. The sense organs help us to know about the world around us. So basically, we have five sense organs like eyes, ear, nose, tongue, and skin. Every sense organ has a different function in our body, and we will study the function of each sense organ in detail one by one. So today we are going to discuss about three sense organs that is eye the human ear and nose the eye the eye are set in socket in the skull they are protected by the bones in the skull and eyelids of skin so here in this picture you can see that eye is located inside your skull and is protected by the bones of the skull. These are the bones of the skull. If you touch your eye, then here you can see the bones of the skull. These are protected and these are your eyelids that protect your eye. And the eyelids are present in the skin and the bones are present in the skull. So both these eyelids and the skull, bones of the skull, they protect your eye. The colored part of the eye is called iris. So here, this is an external picture and this is an internal picture how your eye works internally. So this color portion is known as iris. You have different colors of the eye. Some have brown, black, hazel, green, blue, different colors. So these color portion of the eye is known as iris. When you look at the eye internally, then this portion is known as iris. The pupil is the hole in the center of the iris which allows light to enter the eye. So here in this picture, when you look at the eye externally from the outside, this black, uh, black hole is known as pupil through which light enters into your eye. So when you look internally, then between these two iris, this is your pupil, there is a hole that helps the light from the outside to enter inside the eye. So this is known as pupil. The cornea. The cornea is the transparent front part of the eye that covers the iris, pupil and inner parts. So here, this transparent portion, this U-shaped transparent portion which covers the pupil, eye and all the inner parts of the eye is known as your cornea. So it is transparent, it does not have any color and it covers the whole eye and it is the front part of the eye. The lens focuses the picture on a screen called retina. So when what happened is when the light enters, when, when you see something, the light enters to this small hole that is present that is known as pupil. When the light enters through the pupil, then it reaches the iris. Then the light reaches the iris. This is your iris. From the pupil, it goes into the iris, and from the iris, it strikes at the nerves that are present that are known as uh, retina from the pupil the light first strikes at the iris and from the iris it moves to the lens this is your lens the eye lens and from the eye lens the light goes into these veins this uh, back portion this back portion is known as this screen is known as retina the optic nerves carry the message to the brain so when the light from the lens comes to the retina, retina has very small nerves. These nerves are known as optic nerves. Here you can see the optic nerves, these blue and yellow and red ones. These optic nerves carry the message of the image and send it to the brain. And then the brain works on that message and sends signals, whatever you are seeing, that is translated by the brain. So this is how your eye works. Nose. Smells are chemicals in the air. They, they dissolve on the moist lining of the nostril. So here in this picture, you can see that the basic function of our nose is to smell different, uh, different odors. They can be pleasant, they can be unpleasant. So basically smells have chemicals that dissolve into the moist lining of 
uh, lining in the nostrils. So these are your nostrils. And if you are smelling a flower, then the fragrance, the chemicals of that smell goes through your nostrils into your moist lining. The nerves carry a message to the brain and you can detect the smell. So here in inside your nose, there are nerve cells. There are different nerves that carry and send message to the brain. And then the brain detects that what sort of smell you are smelling, whether it is a good, it is good, it is pleasant, or whether it is bad or it is unpleasant. You can use your nose to breathe. One of the most important function of the nose is that it is used for breathing. Here, the outer air directs sound to a thin membrane, the eardrum. So in this picture, you can see a diagram of the air. This is your outer air. The sound goes from the outer air into a thin membrane, the eardrum. This is your eardrum. Sound vibration pass on the inner drum where the nerves carry the message to the brain. And from this eardrum, the sound goes into the inner air. And from the inner air, the nerve cells known as auditory nerves carry the message and send the signals to the brain and the brain decides what sort of sound you are hearing whether it is a low sound it is a higher sound it is pleasant to the ear or it is unpleasant to the ear so this is all about the human ear